going to show you how to take the VM560 pipe and cable locator and use it in the inductive mode. So this locator only has one inductive mode, which is 480 kilohertz. And so if you take the transmitter and I cut it on, it's going to be automatically in 480 kilohertz. Now we have a selection of, let me turn the volume down. We have a selection between low power and high power, but for this purpose, uh, low power is going to be fine. Now I want to take this transmitter, and if you notice, we have the uh, induction arrow. This is indicating the direction that we should place the transmitter over the cable. And they also give you some pictures here to in indicate also the way you need to place it on the ground. So I'm going to take this transmitter now, and it's, it has a coil in it, and it's, right now it's broadcasting signal up in the air. And what we want to do is place it on the ground, over the top of the line, perpendicular to the line, so that it is uh, applying signal to this tracer wire that's buried. So I'm going to take it, and I see that there's some already some markings. I'm going to put it perpendicular. Now, once it's set up here, I'm going to take the receiver, and I'm going to turn the receiver on. And I need to make sure that's going to be in the right frequency. So I'm going to hold, I'm going to, I notice that's in 60 hertz. So I'm going to hold the target button down. And I'm going to move it to 480 kilohertz. Now it's I'm going to select it by pushing the target button again. I'm going to turn the volume off for a second. Now, we are really close to the transmitter right now, so there's a lot of signal coming into the receiver, and that's why it's at 99.9. .9. But in the con in inductive mode, I need to be about at least 35 paces, uh, 35 feet away. So I'm going to just walk down the line a little bit. And I'm not locating right now. Just walking. Now I'm going to just kind of look back, and I see that the transmitter is, is placed on the ground, uh, and I'm about uh, 35, 40 feet away. Now, if you look at the bar graph right now, it's still pegged out at 99.9, .9, so I want to lower the gain, and now it's going to be a manageable signal. And as I move this receiver back and forth, you will see that signal go up and down. See how it's good? And now it's went up, now it's going down. And I'm looking for the highest number. So I saw a, about a 53. So right here is the best locate. Now in, in 480 hertz, so we don't get depth, so we, but we can mark it. And now we can just continue to uh, walk down the line. So I'm going to pick it up. And as I walk, I'm just, I'm just going to swing the receiver. I'm going to turn the volume on so y'all can hear it. And as we get further away from the transmitter, the signal is going to drop down. And what we heard was that the, the volume went off because the signal got too weak. And so I'm going to hit the plus key one time, and it's going to increase that signal. So see the watch how I hit it. And it Okay. And now we've got a located, located signal here, so I can just continue to walk and trace this out. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at the information in the description below.